Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Shark Bites, the best place online for you to get your shark fix. It's been a little while since we had a new research paper here on the channel, but I've been scouring the literature for you all and I've stumbled across a pretty cool paper. Before we delve into that though, if you like hearing about new shark research and you want to keep hearing more about it, then make sure you hit that like button below. Anyway, back to this new research. We've known for a little while that sharks are capable of detecting magnetic fields, but it's never really been tested what they actually do with this information. It's been speculated for many years that sharks are actually using the Earth's magnetic field to navigate around our oceans. But because sharks are notoriously difficult to study, it's never really been tested before. Well, in this new research by Brian Keller of FSU Marine Lab, it has been tested and it's revealed some super interesting results. To test this, the researchers needed a shark that displayed sight fidelity, which is the tendency to return to a specific area, but also needed a shark that displayed migratory patterns, and the bonnet head was the perfect candidate for this. They also needed to build themselves a merit coil system, which looks like this, and is used to manipulate magnetic fields within that system. The cool thing about this is that you can change the magnetic field inside that merit coil to replicate different locations on Earth. So Brian and his team decided they were going to replicate three different locations. The first, which was the control, was the area in which the bonnet heads were captured in Western Florida. They then replicated the magnetic field 600 kilometers north of this location and 600 kilometers south of this location. 600 kilometers north would actually put the bonnet heads somewhere in the middle of Tennessee in a magnetic field that they've never been exposed to before. They then recorded the shark's movements in a tank using statistical software that gave them a mean direction in which those sharks were heading. So what happened? Well, when the sharks were exposed to the control treatment, there was no reaction. And that's probably because the sharks already thought they were home. There was also no effect when the sharks were exposed to that northern treatment because these magnetic fields are outside of the bonnet head's home range, so they wouldn't really know what to do. But then with that southern treatment, the sharks were actually recorded heading in a mean direction of about 347 degrees, which is almost exactly north. How cool is that? The study is pretty much a clear demonstration that the sharks are using the Earth's magnetic field almost like a map. It's kind of like a young child being made to learn their home address so that if they ever got lost, they could always find their way home. Essentially, when these sharks are small, they learn the magnetic address of their home estuary or bay, and this information helps them return to that location even after traveling hundreds of kilometers. A pretty cool study, right? But what does it all mean in the grand scheme of things? Well, the study has helped fill in a long-standing puzzle about how sharks actually achieve their vast migrations. It also gives us, as humans, a wider understanding of how our marine technologies might be impacting sharks. It has been shown that offshore wind farms can actually disrupt magnetic fields and cause anomalies that can confuse animals, meaning they might swim off in the wrong direction. It's going to be really important moving into the future to understand how these human technologies might be disrupting not only sharks, but any animal that uses magnetic fields to navigate through our oceans. So a pretty awesome study there for you all to digest, and I'll make sure to post the link to that in the description below so you can have a read of it for yourselves. What do you think about sharks using magnetic fields to navigate and how important do you think this study is going to be? I want to hear all your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Bites channel below where you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Until then, see you next time.